Hey you guys, I'm back to talk about the books I'll be reading during the month of September. So you guys, I will be honest and say that, you know, I, I haven't really been feeling reading this past week. I've been wanting to watch a lot of TV, been enjoying that. So I haven't been doing a lot of reading. I'm hoping that I'm not falling into a slump and I'm going to read some good stuff. So when I did my August, July books to be read, I mentioned like 10 books. And I still have about four or five of those left to be read. So I'll put those down below. So those I'm still working on. I keep, keep, keep rechecking out books at the library. They've given me another month. And I'm probably going to ask for another month. Because I've been really into ebooks. So these books they're probably about to start collecting dust because i just haven't been wanting to get back to them but i need to force myself to because i am tired of looking at these books so it's either i read them or just go ahead and turn them in but i feel like turning them in is like defeat like i did not read them i did not accomplish my goal and i'm all about accomplishing my goals but then again i don't want to force myself to read books that i'm not really interested in so i'm gonna figure that out as y'all know, this, this September TBR, Books to be Read, is a little all over the place because I'm all over the place. Sometimes I want to read, sometimes I don't. But those are the books that I need to finish. And I also, even though I said that I wasn't, looked on all the books on Libby and I found two books that I'm interested in reading. I probably should not start these books because I have library books that I need to read. And I also have two other Libby books that I need to read. But I checked out two more because, I mean, I saw the titles, I saw the um, black girls on the covers, and I was like, you know what, I want to read these books. The first book is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. So I've been hearing a lot about this book. It is another book with LGBTQIA representation. The main character is trying to get a scholarship for college. It's her senior year, and she's at a school where she is one of the only blacks and this school takes prom very seriously so whoever is prom king and prom queen they get to win a scholarship and she needs the scholarship so she starts campaigning to be prom queen now y'all know i don't read the backs of books but i just watched somebody else's review and they gave a description of this book shout out to booking jordan left on red she's one of my favorite booktubers. The second book that I checked out on Libby is The Black Kids by Christina Hammond Reed. This book, see this is this is why I don't read the back of the books because just looking at this beautiful cover, just looking at this beautiful cover, it makes me think like, oh I want to read this book, it's going to be so good. But when I read it, the first sentence of it it didn't even give me a real description it just said if you love the hate you give you'll love this book and i did start and get a good way through the hate you give and i saw the movie i didn't finish the book but i did see the movie and um it was i wasn't in that vibe and even with everything going on with brianna taylor justice for brianna Justice for Breonna Taylor and George Floyd and Jacob Blake with everything going on I, I don't know if I can read a book like this y'all about police brutality I'm not sure if it's going to dive into it and so I don't know if I'll get to this one I might start it but if it's if the vibe is too somber for me I'm not gonna be able to read it because with everything going on I want to read things that make me laugh make me happy or even it's educational you know like right now i'm trying to read the book i'm still here and it's talking about her experience being a black woman in white spaces and you know it's not as somber as a book like this where one of the characters is killed because of police officer with everything going on it's not something that i really want to read right now but judging off the cover i immediately checked out this book and put it on my tbr list so we'll see what happens i know i shouldn't judge a book by its cover but i don't like reading the description so i often do <laughs> the next book i'm going to be reading yeah this book i should definitely finish reading is called the right swipe by alicia ray i actually bought this book on 
Apple ebooks a while ago and I just wanted a cute romance to read. It's based off a woman who she owns her own dating app and you know that's on the rage right now is dating app so I'm real interested in her being the owner of a dating app and her not having love right now so is she gonna go on the app and find love well i don't think that's gonna happen because i think i did read the back of the book or skim it the description before i purchased and i remember something about a competing dating app and as soon as they mentioned that it's a romance novel you put two and two together that the competitor and her are gonna you know spark up something this book is not insta love but it is another trope that happens in romance novels that I'm not too sold on, which is enemies and competitors falling in love. I'm not big on that, you know, scheme of romance books, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a fan of like two people who are competing, two enemies, all of a sudden getting together. Now, I have been watching Living Sing, and I love Max and Kyle. That's the reason I'm re-watching this, because I love their love story, how they went from bickering to now they are you know in a relationship but I mean I mean it has to be done well like I I never once thought that Kyle and Max hated each other you could see that they really really liked each other but sometimes in books it just comes off like I hate this person this person did this and so sometimes it's cute when they fall in love and stuff but sometimes it's not I'm like you know it probably would have been cooler if y'all would have stayed enemies and then another person came into the story and that's who you fell in love with but that's just me I'm gonna read this book and I hope that I am proven wrong because it seems really good you know but we'll see so y'all those are the books that I want to read in the month of September we'll see how many I get to I'm gonna be easy on myself because haven't been in much of a reading mood so I'll be happy if I can get I'm not gonna say one I'm gonna say two if I can finish two books I'll be proud of myself y'all get in these comments and let me know what have y'all been reading and y'all don't forget to like comment share my video I really appreciate everyone who subscribed everyone who is watching my videos again thank you for being on this ride with me have a good month of reading Books with Kimberly.